Hello, this video is to show the basic use of the Halo Microchip Scanner. Just a little bit about the scanner before we start. The Halo Scanner will read all FDXB, that's 15 digit microchips, and FDXA, that's 10 digit microchips, um, to identify an animal. And it is compliant with ISO 11784 and ISO 11785 norms. It's also Scanner Angel compatible and it comes complete with a USB uh, lead for charging the scanner and also for downloading and updating the databases of Scanner Angel, Dog Lost and also Petlog. Hopefully in the future other databases will come along and get on board at the moment that's being worked on. So let's have a look at the Halo Scanner. This is what you will get. It's very user friendly. Uh, it's held by using these ha handholds here and therefore this part does the scanning. Okay, so it can, it can scan. There you see the display and to turn it on there is a little paw print on the back which is your on and off switch. So, to start scanning and to turn it on, and you'll hear an audible beep. Hopefully you can see that it now says that the Halo Scanner is now scanning. It's as simple as that. If nothing is found, the, that you will get a double beep, which we should hear in a minute, and it will say, no tag found, meaning that it can't find the microchip. If you want to scan again, press again, it will scan. Now here I have a dummy microchip, so we're going to scan this microchip with the halo scanner. There we go, it's, it's got it. And there we have, that is what you will see on an ordinary dog or animal that's scanned. It comes up saying halo scanner with the number. Now, with all other scanners on the market today, that's as far as it goes. If a vet was to scan, it would come up to say that there was a microchip. Unless the vet is suspicious, there usually is no need to then go any further into it. And this is the whole problem. If a dog has been stolen and then sold on to an unsuspecting owner, unfortunately, that owner may present a dog at a vet practice look very genuine as indeed they would be and the vet would have no reason to scan so therefore they may scan it but uh, have no further knowledge. Uh, as you'll see the, the demonstration uh, has just gone off here. So what happens if a dog has been stolen in the circumstances we've just described and it's presented at a uh, vet's and they scan it very unwittingly. Okay, so here I have a dummy microchip again, but this one has been uh, registered as lost for demonstration purposes. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'll turn the scanner on. There we go. I'm now scanning. It's found the chip. This time, I hope you can see that, it's come up that it's lost by, and it would say the database that's actually reported it as lost. Uh, this one says Scanner Angel. It also gives you the number to ring for that database. So there would be no excuse then, no reason to then go off uh, on the time-consuming quest of finding out which database it's logged to, uh, what is the number, phoning that database, asking if the dog is lost or whatever. We already know that this dog has been reported lost to Scanner Angel. Now this actually links into Dog Lost database and also Pet Log. Hopefully in the future other databases are coming on board. That's being worked on now.